Okay, so the the first wood wah pedal that I built was off in a couple of critical dimensions. One was that I was about an eighth of an inch too short this way and an eighth of an inch too short this way. So the the linkage inside can't quite do the full travel that I that I want to get out of the pedal. So I decided to just build another one full size. So this is basically the closest copy I can get to an actual color sound wah pedal. I built it exactly the same way. Um, I did the pop mounting bracket a little bit differently, but you know, I did the shielding the same way and it's constructed the same way. Same with the treadle. And um, we'll give you a little size comparison here. So here's the one I built the other day. Here's the the new one. As you can see, it's considerably bigger. Uh, if I can get a better shot of that. Doing this with my phone, so maybe the if you compare the treadles, you can see there. It's not a huge difference, but this one's 15% smaller. And the other dimension, the original one was 15% smaller. And the other dimension that is a little more important than I realized is the one from the edge the heel edge of the treadle to the pivot point this one's just a little short it's not we'll just say it's not optimal for for use it's you know it could be better so now i also have cut the the uh, mounting tabs for the treadle and i'm gonna do the the uh, screw attachment will differ on this one. On the last one, the first one I did, I just had a wood dowel and I, I drilled a hole in here, screwed the screw directly into it. And for so many times of taking it apart, putting it back together, the threads kind of got wore out. So I stuck one of these plastic drywall inserts in it. And, um, but then when I put the screw in, it was trying to crack, so I had to put zip ties around it. So I just drove, I found a better way to do it. I drove a dowel inside of this aluminum tube, and then I'm going to drill it out, put the plastic insert in there. And then that should be a really nice, solid um, place to put the screw in. And so essentially, this is kind of the equivalent to a nylon nut once it's all in here and, and the screw does not loosen up at all. So, and then I have to fabricate the little piece that connects to the treadle that actuates the linkage. And I think I'm gonna finish this one the same way with the same material. I did the absolute best job I could on the enclosure and make sure everything was smooth and flush. Unlike the other one, it's got a few imperfections and uh, so we're, I guess that's the next step. And then after we got all this done, we're going to put the circuit from this guy into this guy and tweak the, the pot, you know, a little bit and we'll be done. So when I come back, I'll uh, show you the progress I made. All right, so a couple hours later, we now have the enclosure covered with fabric. We have the um, screw mounting assembly mostly done. We just have to drill a hole through this and have it screw down in, into the enclosure like we did on the last one. That'll keep it from spinning around. The treadle, I'm deciding I'm gonna keep in the white. So I got an SOS pad and just kind of shined up the edges and uh, we're going to put the black rubber on the treadle like we did with the other one. And we also made the piece here that has to attach to the treadle, which actuates the, the linkage to the pot. And I have to figure out exactly where that goes. Fasten it on here. Then I could put the rubber on the treadle and then... I simply just have to take the guts from the other one and put it in here. And uh, 
I haven't decided if I'm going to try to put a clear coat on this or not, but that's easy enough to do at a later date. <coughs> I used uh, white glue this time instead of wood glue, and the wood, the wood glue kind of made the other one look a little yellow, so I'm much happier with this. The Paisley stands out much better, and there's no imperfections that you can see like on the other one. All the edges are smooth and it, it looks, I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out great. So, time to do the finishing touches here. So here we pretty much have the pedal completed. I've put the rubber on the treadle, got this piece on here whatever you call that exactly I'm not sure but um, so there's that piece and then we have this piece installed with the uh, inserts for the screws and it's all wired up it's, you know verified that's still working and um, this one gives me Full range of travel like the original color sound, which I think this inductless one kind of needs, but um, much happier with this. And I put a little label on the front. I drew up an AutoCAD and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go play it now. I'm going to put the thing together and have some fun. So here it is, all completed. Treadles mounted. It works the same way as the original color sound. And uh, I even made a bottom plate for it that's similar to the ones that the color sound Wah pedals used with the little rubber on the foot and the heel and uh, oops so overall I'm I'm very happy with it I think it turned out really nice and um, it was kind of a pain in the neck to have to build one first and find out that it didn't work shrinking it down didn't work so well and uh, the other thing that I learned was the dimension here to here is kind of a critical one as well for how it feels when you're using it so anyways there we go this is this is more like what I had envisioned when uh, I started this project but uh, the you know live and learn